Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cash Redux. I'm your host, Mr. French Social Republic Lover, but we gotta talk about the CSPF established. Today, a special act promulgated by the Rump Assembly confirmed by DLRQ has been brought into the Confederation des Syndicates Professionnels Francais or the French Confederation of Professional Unions. This new government entity will absorb all currently existing trade unions, bring them under the government supervision, with each profession represented by a single state union within the Confederation, under Roger Vetrac. The organization will surely strengthen our support among ordinary workers and ensure the representation of the common man, a vital component of the corporate state. And also, I do apologize at the time of this recording, at the beginning of this video, I have hiccups, apparently. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, and then French words. With tensions escalating even further, it's hardly surprising that popular culture in our country would reflect that fact. Indeed. The latest song to tell the charts in France is called They Make Excellent Frenchmen, performed by Maurice Chevalier. Star musical comedy kingpin of French show business. The song lists all the characteristics of a group of soldiers and officers, all coming from different walks of the life, all in different occupations, many middle-aged and with families of their own, of differing faiths, races, and political opinions, all with their own little ailments, and yet, as the chorus states, all of them make excellent Frenchmen, excellent soldiers. Catchy and comedic. It's a song underlying call for unity as their nation is faced with the greatest struggle yet, and his exaltation of the French infantrymen, always ready to leave everything behind and forget himself in the fight to defend his motherland that has made its, its immense success. In a nation where everything is mobilized for the coming war, like ours, each and every one of us can identify with the sentiment. We will fight and we will win because we must retake our home. They march in a step, march in step, they're no longer used to it, but it's like riding a bicycle, you never forget. And we did read this one last time too, but for women? Female suffrage has long been championed by parties across the French right, with women held to be modest and conscientious enough to likely vote en masse for conservative parties. In order to strengthen the party's hand and further legitimize further electoral successes, we should extend the French ties uh, to women, and meanwhile extend the crow diffuse own women's organizations to galvanize support among the new voter bloc. Colonial extraction. Our colonies contain a vast amount of natural wealth, which is so far uh, largely untapped. However, we need to trade and invest more than ever, and as such is now vital that we look to developing and extract these valuable resources. The old union officials. Now that the government has assumed control of the trade unions and reorganized them in the CP CSPF, we must decide what to do with the officials of the old independent trade unions. Although we cannot deny their organizational skill and experience, these men were largely aligned with the Rad Parti Radical or the Parti Republican Socialista, both of which have had long, poor relations with De La Roque. As such, we must decide what to do with these men. Some believe that they should be given job equivalents to their oppositions in exchange for lo loyalty, while others believe that we should tightly vet them. Others, meanwhile, argue that we should simply get rid of them all. Let them say how they swear loyalty, tightly vet them for social sympathies, can't trust any of them. Go ahead, tight. Uh, tightly vet them. Okay, a good amount of political power too, which is not bad actually. As uh, they're still doing uh, trans Sahara Railway, uh, which is not bad actually. It's pretty beneficial except for the consumer goods parts, but you know whatever. If you're worried about this, please go ahead. Um, on that, we're looking we're looking all right right now. Resistance is going down. There's no resistance up here, which is great. Compliance nine percent is not great. Fifty seven percent. So it is slowly still going up, even though we do not still have enough, uh, or really anything. But you know whatever. Um, in the meantime, we are doing okay in the war up here. Not fantastic, but okay. Ooh, if you could like win there, you could cut that division off. And we are losing in Italy, which is not good because two divisions got circled and they don't have enough divisions to hold out here because they don't really have no idea what they're doing. But you know, whatever. I love close air support. I'm sorry, I gotta go with close air support. Even though we have no close air support, I still I love close air support so much. Uh, but it's 1938 now, everybody. And we're still doing a lot of our focuses, same focuses that we did before. We're doing colonial extraction right now. We did read this earlier as well as votes for women, um, but. We probably got to talk about the extensive conscription as well. Um, you know, I think I read this before, so if you read this again, please go ahead. But uh, entrenched corporatism, where the unions brought under state control and represented in government, and with the state brokering positive relations between employers and workers, a new state, uh, corporate state, has finally taken hold in France, which further formalized the state of affairs with the new corporate charter, signed by business leaders and unionists, and passed into law to ensure that all cooperate for the common good under state supervision. What's not to love? Ah, look at that! Oh, we're getting attacked. We're going... Oh my God! What are you doing? Why are you leaving? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What happened to your divisions, brawl? Brawl? Bro? Get out of there. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, you up there. Go there. Up, up. I'll join Muslim scouts. I've heard this one before, too. If you want to be this one, please do it as well. Be prepared, give her blessing, it's going to be a good thing. More like be prepared for insurrection. Ban these groups. Down the groups. That one too. From there. Still training. Good god, you're gonna get circled so badly, it's not even funny. And Gaul's learning and doing the best he can, but like he has no support. The Carlos are really losing too. Which sucks as well. 
Um, we, we do get over two political power a day, which is pretty nice. That's pretty, honestly, very awesome. Um, so, Dollar Q is doing okay. But for women, a courage cult personality. <clears throat> Clinton and Dollar Q's charisma and popularity have caused him to become deeply popular among his community followers, with his portrait becoming a common sign in the homes and workplaces of a crowd of few loyalists. To further uh, consolidate our cons uh, government and promote Dollar Q's public image, we should encourage this cult of personality celebrating his heroism in the Great War and commitment to France. Le Petit Journal purchased. On top of our efforts to purchase or further popularize Le Flambeau, the Croix de Fieu today purchased the long standing prestigious conservative newspaper Le Petit Journal. The newspaper, which is over 60 years older than our party, um, has a wide audience as broadly respect, making it an ideal mouthpiece for the government's agenda and its message to the public. The people will be better informed than ever. Switzerland recognizes the commune. Ah, phase two. Ah, very good. Get even more daily political power, worse consumer goods, but that's not bad overall. As we were building uh, some military factories as well, which we will need to continue to do so, with, even though. There are a lot of good roads here, but whatever. Now we've received news as part of the negotiated deal with the Commune of France. This government has officially recognized the Commune of France as a legitimate French government. This leaves us in an awkward position as the Swiss government previously recognized us as a sole legitimate government of France. We will not forget the slight. Darn them, we'll kill them later. Oh, look at the political power. We could send in the army. Actually, you know what? Do we do we even need trains? We have a cup of coffee here too, but uh trains. Us feel, the trains needed twenty, we have fifty one, so we don't, doing this would be a complete waste. I don't, I don't mind taking stability yet. We don't really need to do that. Hurt the consumer goods, hurt recovery rate. We don't even need to do that. So, like, but power wise, we're doing really quite well. And I want to maximize, um, probably capital ship armor defense because ours is okay. It's not great. So, we'll do that. Votes for women. Pretty much everything here that we possibly can. Um, I do want to get through this stuff as well. This would be good to get as well. It would have been better to get earlier, but at this point, whatever. A large army is not bad either. 5,000 more manpower is decent. Legal estate. Well, we're going to entrench this one, so. Legal estate. The duty of the state above all else is to maintain social order and the rule of law, keeping all of its citizens safe and free. A state which cannot do is, is, is a failed state, and we must not forget it. By further putting into law the emerging corporatist system and expanding the police, we can maintain capable and orderly governance to prepare France for liberation. Uh, more political power. Uh, this one gives us two factories, too, and better consumer goods, so we definitely won't go with that one first. Encourage a cult of personality. Au confrontera Notre Dame. A wide network of informants within the commune. As recently has been integrated within our wider intelligence network and the Metropole has already provided us with the crucial information regarding military installations and planning. Communist influence within our dominion, as well as potential targets to bring over to our side or to take down. Founded earlier this year by Louis de la Baronne, Bardoni, a winemaker from Dorgon, and now headed by our smuggled agent Gilbert Renault, now operating the pseudonym of Colonel Remy, the network operates primarily in the west of France recruiting mostly among the numerous Catholics disgruntled by the anti-clerical practices of the syndicalist government, including a high number of women such as Jeanette Guyot. As such, uh, the deeply Catholic Colonel Remy has chosen for the network the codename CND, short for Our Lady Confraternity, hoping to put efforts to these, of these heroes under the protection of the Virgin Mary. Good luck, Colonel! Nice. We'll take whatever advantage we can get. Della Rocchio's charisma and popularity has caused him to become deeply popular among his committed followers, which I read earlier, so... Uh, I think that's really about uh, becoming a common sign in the homes and workplaces of Croix de la Fieu. Or Croix de Fieu loyalists. To further consolidate our government and promote de la Rocue's public image, we should encourage his cult of personality, celebrating his heroism and the Great War and commitment to France. And you had a review. We have enough for 100, which is fine with us to spend that much right now. As we're getting into the month of July, so we're doing okay. And IDEC investors. I mean, I, this was, I think this is always best. Let me know in the comments below. What do you choose for IDEC, IEDC investors? I always call it IDEC. IEDEC. Edic advisors. Do you choose the first one like I do? Because the research efficiency gain is not bad. 5% consumer goods is very strong. And 50% output is just a sweet cherry on top. Do you use naval engineers for dockyard output, ship refitting speed, and repair speed, which is not bad in some cases? Or do you do construction engineers, which would be very helpful, which I do on occasion, which I do like a lot to help build things up. But right now, we need 22, could be used for trade. Uh, we're using 16%, so that's just for the economy. We got two more. So let me know in the comments below which one of those do you ever use? Join the IS. I-S-A-C, yes. Since 1978, or 1789, France's relations with the Catholic Church has frequently been strained with successive governments attacking Catholicism. This only grew worse in 1905 when the Republican government broke all ties with the Church today, though. This was set right. And Francois de la Rocue, having arrived in Rome the day before, sent a new concordat within the Catholic Church, restoring Roman Catholicism as a state religion of France. De la Rocue has been congratulated for this by the Pope and the, the Croix de la Fieu. Oh, Croix... Defew, always a party of the Catholic right, will like to be greatly strengthened. Excellent news. Awesome. Uh, EDC investment. Um, we're willing to invest in the French Social Republic, though it does not build any any particular French state in so much as boots our overall industrial capacity through the Entente's economic cooperation. These factories remain as long as our participation in the alliance persists. So in what direction shall we encourage this new investment? Oh, Jesus Christ, this looks so bad. 
Well, it's, oh, it's so bad. Uh, we have plenty of guns now, which is not bad. We can use more armored cars. Industry, we still want to build up our industry. Dockyards would not be bad. Um, we definitely need a lot of artillery. I'm going to keep going in arms factories. We can keep building cities and whatnot, and roads would be nice too, but uh, if you know this, please go ahead. Either way, let's enjoy ourselves. Yes. In the meantime as well, with this being our alliance, uh, we're going to need this port here. We're definitely going to need some radar. Like, I'm going to be honest, we're going to need, we're going to need some radar to help invade the mainland. Especially since Italy's fallen to so, uh, syndicalism or socialism or some ism. Radical socialism, see. Radical socialists. Bunch of radicals. Trading away stuff. Extracted. That's not bad. Uh, we're doing okay for now. We have no fuel. We keep trading ourselves more and more and more. But still, whatever. Alert in the Mediterranean. Um, I think there's one too, please. As well, if you're about this, please go ahead. A touching story. Or it's our worst part, which is not good, but whatever. Oh. I was further alerted by the corporate state. We've been approached by an organization called the Redressment Francois, or French Renewal. Founded by the successful businessman Ernest Messier on the advice of President Falk during the 20s, the Redressment seeks to operate as a combination of think tank and social club for prominent businessmen, promoting a pro business view of corporatism alongside a traditionalist social agenda. Messier, as a shared uh, of de la recue of his loyalty and citing their many shared ideals, I was promised to do his best to run up support for the government among his associates, a worthy ally. A large army. Delano Wagen believe uh, strongly that the only way we can truly ensure a strong enough military to embrace the traditional French doctrine of an expansive army, capable of covering and pushing across the broad front and such. The General Staff has organized new recruitment campaigns along, among white Frenchmen in an effort to pers persuade those Frenchmen who have fled to other countries to come here and do their duties. Opposition to female suffrage, or a recent move towards implementing female suffrage, fulfills the long standing goal of the French right, which has been supported giving women the vote as they are seen as modest and pious, making them ideal Catholic conservative voters. But this has also garnered much opposition, of course, too. <clears throat> With some claiming that we are only doing it to bolster our share of the vote, even though some elections are no longer worth much, and many others argue that women do not simply have the political experience and social responsibility that need to have, that needed to have to have equal political power to men. Complaints or nothing. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, fire tea coming. Whatever. Uh, keep going with this one. Yeah. I love infrastructure. Here, hurry up with that one. Petit du Souverain. Um. Well, let's worry about this one, I guess. Since 1861, the principality of uh, Monaco has had close relations with France. Nominally independent, of course, the Italian state heavily relied on France and most of its flourishing economy dependent on the French money. And vast or lost in Monte Carlo's casinos, the two neighbors eventually agreeing to assign a treaty of protective friendship, staying neutral in... 1914, the Principality uh, eventually found itself in a difficult situation with the civil war in France and the revolution brewing in Italy, as communist militias, of course, were closing in on the rock, a symbol of rampant capitalism under which the bourgeoisie gambled away the produce of the proletariat's hard work. Albert I chose exile, taking with him the fabulous riches of the Grimaldi family and setting up a court in exile, before being succeeded by a son in 1922. Louis II had served as an officer of the Fort Legion, fighting uh, at the Marne and the Chemin de Main de Dames, earning himself the nickname of Soldier Prince and a promotion to the rank of General. Since his coronation, Louis has been desperately fighting for his unilaterally annexed principality. He has found some success extracting recognition of his government in exile from countries opposed to the commune. Admirer, admirer of Marshal Pétain, the prince has furthermore been funding various right and far-right initiatives. Steering clear, however, of the action Francois, which had, had run a vicious press campaign against the principal theater in the Great War, Monaco being smeared as a den of German spies and Jewish capital, but today is a joyous occasion. As the tiny uh, Monegasque community in exile celebrates Sovereign's Day, Monaco's National Day falling on the prince's patron saint feast. A lavish party has been organized, with many of the France's political elites and numerous foreign diplomats being assembled in the prince's palace on the outskirts of Algiers, an occasion he will no doubt use to further his cause. Next year, in Monaco! Oh, martyrs espagnol. To the Spanish martyrs is a poem written, or by dramatist and diplomat Paul Cialdel, a deeply conservative, devout Catholic, a longtime critic of the anti-clerical Third Republic, who became a sort of official poet for the Pétain regime. His long religious plays earning him unending praise and even a Nobel Prize nomination, but... He had largely steered to clear politics as post, his post as diplomat demands strict reserve on these matters. The crisis unfolding in Spain, however, changed his attitude and prompted him into action, particularly emerging tales of red terror, profanations, and acts of syndicalist violence against Catholic clergy and la laity, all ringing eerily familiar to the exiles. Claudel has pleaded with the government to provide unconditional, unconditional support for the Spanish royalists that believes uh, he believes are engaged in a holy war against the forces of evil. Committees of support towards his cause have already begun to appear, raising funds, organizing volunteers, and engaging what can only be described as propaganda effort on behalf of the Kingdom of Spain, with often tacit support from the Catholic hierarchy. The poem, A Malteros Españoles, calls on the reader to stand up against the Red Neros and uh, Diocletians. Lists reported 
uh, act of persecution and exalt a holy Spain that will be reborn through the blood of the martyrs is now appeared on the leaflets. Mocked for its rather emotional and verbose prose, endlessly quoted by supporters of the Spanish kingdom, and been quickly translated and spread through much of the Catholic world, Paul Claudel has become a sort of figurehead for the Spanish cause. Clearly, a cause dear to him, which we are sucking here quite a bit. Um, I want to send more, but we can't, and they don't let us send planes. We're still here. Socialist Republic of Argentina, that's not good. And we're doing a large army, wow. To almost two and a half political power every single day. My god, that's a lot. That really is a lot. But we're finishing up with a large army, and after that, we'll do the extended conscription. So, uh, I think it's so if you want to do this one more time, please go there, but still. And so uh, the board. With the corporatism is fully and successfully established, and the mass movement of the Croix de Fieu is stronger than ever, Colonel de la Q has successfully transformed French politics. With the support of workers, the military, industrials, and the church assured, the new French state stands proud, ready, united, ready to liberate the metropole and begin to bring justice to all French men. Oh, hello. The last few seems to be doing okay, and they are what? National populists? Yes, they are. Jörg Land von Liebenfels, which I've played before, which is a lot of fun. I kind of want to see them do well. That'd be cool. Light tanks, armor technology. Uh, production costs, soft attack reliability, speed. Look at the speed defense. Speed, speed, speed. But it's a new year. Keep building. Civvies and roads, I guess, for now. Since we're still building this up, three more days. And we have phase four next as well. It's not bad. Um, when we remove the Trans Saharan Railway complete, we'll be able to send troops by rail between Algiers and French West Africa. They send a colonial conscription. Uh, liberation more and more imminent, of course. Uh, we can no longer put off uh, the question of the conscription of colonial subjects. The topic has long been deeply contentious, and a final decision for on the matter has been avoided for years in order to avoid criticism from the colonialist hardliners and anger from the natives. Now, it's not long at all until we dearly need manpower from the colonies, and we must confront the question of how tired conscription requirements will be. Moderate set of requirements will please most. Feature France's stake, squeeze them hard. I like squeezing them hard. Uh, well, we shut down other stuff before. Eh, I'll do that one, why not? Because we're already on extensive conscription, which is not enough, but whatever. Uh, that's not like a martial network. For months now, the rumors of a highly effective network of uh, op uh, operating in the east of France has reached our intelligence service, but it proved impossible to get truly a hold of. Indeed, it seems that none of their officers even know the name of their hierarchical superior and meetings are kept to a strict minimum. But we've finally been contacted by its leader, Alsatian textile industrialist Paul Dungler, nicknamed Commandant Marshall, assistant of the Reich. With German cash given under the pretenses of funding study of the Genetse flower in the hills of the Volskis region, Commandant Marshall quickly built a disciplined network gathering information on communal infrastructure and troop movements in the east, implementing weapons and explosive caches all over the Volskis, Volskis and in Alsace, creating armed networks in Lorraine as well as stay behind groups should the commune advance past the Volskis. However, unbeknownst to his German patrons, Dungler believes that Alsace is a rival part of the France, and his network has been gathering an immense wealth of information from within the German intelligence framework, as well as cultivating links between the armies of the Reich of the disgruntled Alsatian soldiers and officers. He has now offered us his services as a double agent, giving us access to his network to prepare for the liberation of France, and we would be foolish to refuse. Though the Germans know of this network as the uh, Réseau Marshal, or Marshal Network, to us who become the Alsace 7th Column, as a deeply Catholic Dungler believes seven is a holy number. However, his attention is obviously divided between the Commune and the Reich, which could hamper the effectiveness of his work against the Reds that he finds himself calls the anti-civilization. What should we do? I was going to focus on the Commune for now. Information on the Bokkes will always be useful. Yeah. It's fine. Hello. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Um, Austria, rubber. Oh, we're extracting that much. It's not bad. We're actually extracting a little bit of this, too. Let's go with this one instead. Impossible Hajj. May it should be peaceful. I think I've read this before, so if you need this, please go ahead. Remove Crackdown. Oh. Darnan has assumed control. Miller Unit is held under power. Oh. Whatever. Colonial status quo. French Union. Required garrisons. A resistance activity chance goes down. Gains cores on Algeria with a reduced manpower and mobilization. Research French rule. French Union. Yeah. Compliance growth would be nice. Colonial status quo wouldn't be bad. But we have enough stability, so we don't really need to do that one. I don't like how a lot of extra stuff right there, but that's alright. Uh, resistance contacts, that's not bad. Uh, according to operations first. 
Without the three branches of the military acting in unison, we have little hope of managing a well-organized campaign as such. The officer corps of the Army, Navy, and Air Force will be integrated together, of course. And we well, shall ensure that from one branch, one must consult the other counterparts from all the others and arrange any necessary supporting operations before making new plans. I don't know I'm speaking fast, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm a fast speaker. And there it goes. Uh, well, Goringia. Look at him. Wow. And he has his pathos here as well, so they will pay. Sovereign beyond state. Yeah, that's safe just in case. You never know. Neither play as Goring. I think I've done it before. I can't remember. Goring. Uh, Goring. Uh, but slowly, just still getting ready for the war. Oh, we made a marine. Nice. You know what, just in case, you guys? Um. Take it to Toulon. Maybe one. Make it five, six, seven, uh, see what you can do. Expand resistance contacts. Within the Metropole, of course, uh, the communists are still far from unanimously being accepted. Especially in traditional Catholic rural areas, sizable resistance movements still persist in parts of the commune, and although we've always tried to support them, it has so far proved insufficient to make such a difference to their plight. Now, however, Darlan is committed to a deepener backing of these valiant men, ordering numerous more agents to be sent to the commune, who can, according to the operations of resistance groups, ensure they have answers, to, uh, or they answer to Algiers. Alright, so now we're doing that. We definitely need more military factors, because uh, we're going to need some anti-air. We're going to need some planes, too. Um... So double up on that stuff for now, because we just do not have enough planes of any kind. We're still using anti-air or uh, interwar stuff, which really sucks, but whatever. Um, moderate colonial conscription. It's not bad. Resistance growth speed goes up and compliance growth speed goes down, but... I'd say that helps out quite a bit. That's not bad. Overall, it's not bad at all. Could lower this too, but how does this help construct speed? Limit exports 5%. I mean, eh, it's not bad right now. Um, I wanted to wait even before doing that stuff because we're. Uh, maybe North Africa Cup. Well, if you don't know about the North Africa Cup, please go right ahead as well. Oh, peace conference is over. Congratulations to the winner! Oh! Oh, Dark Continent of the Dark Continent. Well, they're at war now. Wait. Oh, wait, what? Russian boots. Wait, what happened here? Legionary state. What the heck is this? What? Desire for revenge. What is this? I've never seen this. This looks really fun. Legionary. Legionary elite. Common land. Centralized command structure. Weak legionary struggle. Bro. What is this nation? I've never seen this nation before. Whoa! I gotta play some. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, with that going on, we're gonna do this. Can I upgrade for you, sir? None. No. Everyone repair. The final struggle. Clean the Metropole, the time for the final struggle. That's be after control of here. Sure, why not? Phase four? Yes, please. Just heard consumer goods, but whatever. It's worth it. And we'll do coordinate the operation stuff, expand resistance contracts, strengthen the Navy. If anything, the Navy is a force we needed the most in our current situation. As a battle, we have no hope of even landing in the becoming. Darlan himself, an admiral, knows this all too well, with many of his loyalists also coming from the Navy. As such, it's vital to, uh, that we increase funding for the Navy, increase the representation of naval officers and the general staff. The Croix de uh, Triomphe. Huh. So that's kind of rebuilding everything there, which would be kind of cool. La Liberation. Reconstruction. There's even more after that, too. The truth of the British throne. Well, 
Ministry of Naval Affairs. What was this? The Ministry of Naval Affairs, once tasked with overseeing the administration of both the colonies and our naval forces, is now solely dedicated to the needs of the Navy. Control of the Med will be essential to retaking the Metropole. And as such, the Ministry will also make sure the Navy can send it to the International. Coordinate that stuff first. Ten days left. Nice. We're just running out of space here. We, we ran out of space here. What the heck are we supposed to do then? Do one more of those, maybe? I don't know. Get some uh, air bases, I guess. Well, we've got enough for, like, raising conscription, going to war economy, and stuff like that, but... Like, I'm not sure what else, man. How are the repairs going? Oh, good. How are the planes going? Yeah, probably not so good. You guys are fine. All right. Um, it's all military pro presence of Provence. Uh, La Grande Illusion. Um, I think I was this one before. Is you want to do this? Please go ahead as well. How are they doing better? What the heck? Oh, they're just kind of beelining towards everything here, huh? Can you actually win here, maybe? Overall, not bad. I mean, I want to make these guys thicker. We do need some anti air, though. Can we do this? this yeah. I'm going to do that. Throw on at least. Oh, go through a three on. We're not going to have enough arty for that, but that's not bad overall. We have a little bit of anti air as well. That's not bad. Because we're definitely, definitely, definitely going to need it. Yeah, we have enough for that, too. Oh, all right. I see plans to transmit. I've tried it on my own time, and I've, and I've actually been successful. I might have played this before, but maybe I don't remember. Oh, everyone's killing each other now. Oh, Austria's not looking good. Austria lost most of Austria. What the heck? We're voting the Reich's Pact. Oh, Russian Socialist Republic. Everyone's killing each other. What else is new? Um, so attacking and defending, huh? Oh boy, oh my god, you you went for the beeline and tried to kill a picture of these guys. But was that worth it? If you get Madrid, that might be, but Jesus Christ. Well. Y'all start stocking up, getting ready. Big ol' push. Especially when they're distracted here. Um, Cause they're fighting on two fronts too, which we would not do very well with. In the meantime, I'm gonna have you guys dock here. Your goal is to help do this. Your goal is the exact same thing here to here. There's a way to game this. I forget exactly how, but. Can you actually win there? We might be able to. We have so much political power. Nice. Radio Algier. Well, though tuning into our radio broadcast is nothing new for a country made still under the red yoke. Course goes, after all, only a few miles from the mainland. A news station broadcasting from Algiers has uh, been specially created to give true news to the Metropole and to transmit coded messages to our supporters within the commune, such as instructions and information disguised as private messages from people separated from their loved ones by the current circumstances. This measure was necessary to coordinate the various, or various actions taken by opponents to the syndicalist regime, such as the distribution of tracts, preparations to hamper the war effort, recruitment, bribery, discreet weapon training, as tensions ramp up a bit more each day. Though the resistance is still far from being able to rise as one against the communards, establishing the ra this radio station will go a long way towards making sure the efforts of our brothers will not be in vain. Once we land on the shores, we'll be ready to do all the can of free France. Les Français parlant au François, whatever it's pronounced as. I don't know. I'm not French, I apologize. We're not being French, but at least not knowing how to pronounce this stuff. Well, we could try to go to war with them, but, you know, we'll see. Um, got that one strength of the Navy we read. The Liberation one is not bad either. 
Uh, yeah, we might as well do that one since uh, we have max out stability already and war support too. Let's push further into the economy. We only need more and more equipment to go sustain the liberation campaign. Hence, the state must go even further in its investment in the army, securing the safety of our forces, supply lines, and the quality and quantity of the equipment. No matter how tight the economy has already been squeezed, it's more is always needed and subsidized plant production. The government forces far outnumber our own men, and as such, we will need a domination of the skies in order to push them back into a particular med Mediterranean supply lines. As such, we should greatly extend our subsidies for planes, making a great effort to encourage manufacturers to produce a higher quality of the latest models. So, that would be bad. So what is it? You can do that, and then you have to go to war with them like this. Oh, the Russians are in war with them too. We can probably launch an invasion like that. Come on, come on, come on. And if it doesn't go well, we'll do some funky stuff off screen probably. Oh, uh, they're really stacked here, aren't they? Mission anti goring pact. So we've landed, which is nice. Of course, the attack. Yeah, you might be able to win here and there. Let's see. 34 is not good. 80 is not bad. 75 is not bad either. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, What is this? Austria is... Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. Come on. That's not good. That's not good. Come on. Land, god dang it. Just take a freaking port. They're way too stacked here. Way, 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 way too stacked. Got any way to make it there. Strength in the Navy, of course. Just land. Uh, and if we can't do well there, well, we'll do some funky stuff as well, because this is stupid. And here we're at, everybody, which I decided, you know what, let's have the Reichs Pact on time we'll cooperate, which means we'll join Middle Europa after the war's over. Um, we will also give up or renounce claims to Alsace-Rhine for now. And hopefully we can leave the faction eventually. And we'll give up some of our colonies here in the area here, but basically we just want to win the war. Uh, but I, I, I did reinvade, and we're doing okay here. Um, so I just want to kill all these guys as fast as we can, and then we're both from there. So um, that's really the plan from here on out. So Ministry of Naval Affairs, which is pretty nice. Uh, two, do we need a third one? Going with the one there, too. That's fine. Uh, fuel refining, get some more rubber, because we could probably honestly use that. Get some other stuff right there, too. Um, but what are we doing next? World class navy would be bad. Public appeals. Uh, if you want to read the Tour d'Algeria, please go ahead. As we attract to seek more recruits from Darlan's envisaged a larger navy, it's vital that we appeal to the common patriotism of every decent Frenchman, reminding the people at every opportunity that their French brothers and sisters are subjected to socialist tyranny, where their faith and culture is suppressed. Only a new crusade of free France can change this, one which requires the commitment of every citizen. So we're just kind of hanging out, you know, doing okay. Um, got plenty of political power, as we were just kind of literally just hanging out as they are. Trying to beat the crap out of us, but our divisions are doing okay. You know, I can promote this guy. Uh, losses. 30,000 is not bad. French national workers. We could have 100,000 of them. Oh, look at that. This is our territory. Nice. Uh oh. We need way more armored cars now. Crap, that's not good. Uh, recruit light tanks, armored cars. Yeah, go down by two more. That's fine for now. Share the wealth. Share the wealth. It's all military presence in Provence? Sure, why not? Scream of Born Uprising, and they are attacking the living crap out of us. Wow. Which, Italy's gonna be a problem. But as long as we get the territory, that's all I really care about. Oh, what's going on down here? Ooh. We're out of fuel, which is not good. Gabon needs guns. A newly independent French Francophile state of Gabon is requested. Our help in the supply of the troops. It would be a good opportunity for us to gain a better foothold on the former territory of Middle Africa. How should we respond? Fuse them. It's 100 guns, it's fine. Uh, run, rule of skies. A strong air force is absolutely vital in order to recover both our fleets in the Mediterranean and support soldiers in the metropole. Thus, it is vital that we further extend our investments in the air force, subsidizing research and development of planes and promising its chief officers continued backing in exchange for supporting Darlan. Colonist status quo. In spite of the complaints, for many corners of society, the existing system in our colonies generally does work, and is only beneficial to us. As such, we should discredit the groups calling for either liberalized or harsher colonial policies. Uh, and firm support for the civilizing mission by further funding missionaries and reinforcing colonial outposts in the more remote territories. So these guys are pushing really freaking hard right now. I'd love to push too, but we don't, we can't. They're just attacking us. So, yeah. He's getting beaten up, but, you know, whatever. He's doing okay. I do want some thicky divisions, though. Civil War is still raging hard there. Um, broad offensives. I like that too. More, 100% more attack and defense would be really nice. 
by only only by pushing across a large front can we maintain pressure on the communards. Something we can do better with ever uh, with ever our wealth of new recruitments. We must ensure that our infantry forces understand what's needed to maintain a large offensive and that our officers are well trained in commanding such operations. Uh, well, I think my brothers won too, but let's read this anyways. Juno de Uncure de Campagne. Uh, today, the grand prize of the Academy of Francais, one of the oldest and most prestigious literary awards in France, has been awarded to Georges Bernardos for his title and vision, The Title, Diary of a Country Priest, published earlier this year, finding great critical and commercial success. Through the touching story of a young priest in a small village in northern France, Bernardos tackles themes such as spirituality, death, and the battle between good and evil, destiny, and the role of the church under an anti clerical regime, but also selflessness, hope, salvation, and grace, struggling with the lack of authority, with the lack of funds, with the growing impiety of his flock. Now, local authorities oscillating between derisive mockery and outright hostility. The parish priest puts extreme zeal and selflessness into attempting to save the souls of his parishioners, sometimes falling into despair but never giving up his fight. A fight perhaps lost in advance, but a fight bringing him closer to God. Culminating with the conversation of the chairman of the local council, the book ends on a bittersweet note, the young curé himself dying shortly after stomach cancer, so utter, softly uttering all his grace. A monarchist, but praising the spirit of the revolt of 1789, violently opposed to cynicalism, but just as violently opposed to the bourgeoisie. Close to the action Francois, but often conflicting with their views, profoundly Catholic, but criticizing clergy more concerned about order than salvation, considering himself neither right or left wing, but simply Christian, George Benenos, as a man full of contradictions, nevertheless, with his diary of full work full of his sincere faith and his spirituality. He has touched the whole nation, if not the whole Catholic world. L'enfer, c'est de ne plus amer. Senor. Finally, better planes. Finally, 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 finally. Alright. We have no carriers for now, which is fine with us. And here, special modules, drop tanks, flow dive, brakes, extra fuel tanks. Nope. Electronics. Eh, that would be terrible. But well, this is going to be our fighter, so it doesn't really matter. Fighter weapons, four light machine guns, and throw on a cannon. Let's go with the throw on a cannon. Um, Bruce Fighters. There you go. And then we're going to go with basic medium airframe, improved basic. Yeah, this is going to go. Yeah, that's fine. Basic, basic, basic. We want improved. Some casts, special modules, dive brakes sound like fun. Special modules, no electronics. So strap bombing, defense, don't worry about it. Cast bomb bay. Bomb locks. Nice. For medium bombers. Oh, we have naval bombers here too. That's alright with us. Computer mountings, naval bomber stuff. I mean honestly that's good enough. Defensive turrets, get some of that. Special modules, drop tanks, no dive breaks. Yeah, but targeting is pretty good. Um, electronically speaking, strap bombing, radio navigation. Yeah. Extra fuel tanks, floats, sure, why not? There you go. Using some interwar bomber stuff. Not bad. There you go. As they're still attacking us like crazy, but you know we've only done 11. percent I just want you know mainland France back for the most part. Uh, working on guns, tanks looking okay-ish for now. Get some better engineers for now. As long as they can't shatter us, that's the most important thing right now. They can't move us out of here. Can't really move them out of here too, but whatever. Can you actually do that maybe? It, it really helps that the Union of Britain is not the Union of Britain. Um, all this stuff's looking good. Not bad. I never do assault. Good. They're looking honestly really weak in some of these areas here. And they, of course they're fighting this side too, but still. Ain't not bad. Get up to there, that'd be really good, but we'll see. My god, they're really cruising for a bruising. Why are they so weak? Debt? Debt? They must have, like, no equipment. Because they have a million manpower, but we can't see. So we're from Yugoslavia. Good. 
go. Knees would be nice. Yeah, let's get knees back. Smash, smash, smash. Do you have to cross river? Oh, but they did pause this right there. Broad offenses. Come on. Come on. Oh, they got in there first, but it doesn't matter. Good. That's really going to screw things up, isn't it? You guys do this again, maybe? Let's see. Orangina, soda de naranjina. It's a secret recipe, and this thing's a bottle shape. The new refreshing soda, orange soda, developed by the Pierre Noir Le Brun Breton. Has quickly become a massive success in the cafes of Algiers, particularly with the youths. Some say the shrewd businessmen even hired students and soldiers on leave to order the drink. If that rumor is accurate, the strategy is effective, making Orangina immediately trending kickstarting its popularity. Already coffee houses all over the colonies are ordering crates after crates of the sugary drink, a boon to be sure to stimulate the local agricultural sector. The climate of Algiers is perfectly suited to cultivate citrus fruits. Delicio! Or how do you pronounce it? See what you can do. Oh, that's not good. That's gonna be painful, isn't it? Actually, not that bad. Oh. And you're doing okay here, too. Not bad. Oh, what do we have over here? Bolster spirits. Um, what is this? Secure control of Dauphin? Yes. Can I actually get them? Eid? Nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I have no fuel, of course, but whatever. What else is new? What is this? Oh, guns and equipment. Artillery gun. Restored in Dahomey, nice. While Dahomey still labors under French control, the Dahomey military has a certain enough control over its own borders. That assemblance of autonomy is not possible. It's not independence far from it, but it doesn't mean that they no longer have to rely on French troops to secure the borders unless they're not so totally under control. You guys do that, do that. You get down here. Look at that. Nice. Hey! We're almost connected here. Almost. Not quite though. Oh god dang it. That one too. Four, throw another guy on here. Draw the golf balls ill, whatever. Broad offensives. Dominate the med. Uh, without the master of the Mediterranean, any efforts to transport forces to the shore of the metropole will be entirely futile. Furthermore, we can achieve a genuine aim of control over the sea. We can secure new trade routes while disrupting communist supplies and guard a new procedure within the region. As such, it's crucial that we invest further into the shipbuilding naval research. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's almost like 40. Grab this. Um, there you go. Good. Uh, still putting up a lot of stuff here, too. Um. Not a lot like you can really build, it's up more roads, I guess. Oh, the Germans are pushing hard, aren't they? Yeah, 
You know what? It might be the end of them now. You know what? This is done. So you get the here too. Like Angel disappears. Um, you're going to this, please go ahead. You survived worse, right? Right. Americans of war still raging on, which is fine with us. We don't really care too much. Military presence in Provence. Presence in Provence, I should say. Happy 1940, everybody. Miracle in the South Atlantic. Have you heard that again? Oh, no. I'll give you this one. At more than a week without news from Jean Mermoz and the crews of his Lenta Correa, 300 Cro de Sud. However, their hope was left for the safe return at home. Today, however, a miracle happened. Uh, Mermoz and his exhausted, sunburned, thirsty, but very much alive crew were found drifting in the ocean by a Brazilian ship. The news. Just like the pilot, quickly crossed the South Atlantic and spread like wildfire, cinemas and theaters even interrupting their programming to inform the audience. Public relief is palpable. The government has put an official statement thanking the Brazilian authorities, and a hero's welcome is already being planned for the Archangel. Every failure to survive gives us strength to succeed next time. Nice. King was addressed, we're that, good head. So I'm ready. We're doing okay on Vampire 2 right now, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. Find him and beat him. Paris needs to fall. Once the Germans can actually get across here, we should do okay, but like, this is taking a while. So you guys are gonna be like right there. And then you guys are gonna be like right here. Dominate the Med, of course, citizen soldier ideal. For centuries, the tradition of citizen soldier, the common Frenchman called to war in times of need, has been critical to our military prowess. This ideal underpins Darlene's expansion of troop numbers, which are further reinforced through mandatory infantry training for all able bodied adults. So, if needed, they can be called to serve the nation in its hour of need. But I think I might just end it here and then finish off the rest of the war off screen. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. It's, it's going to take some time, but it will get there. But we'll start the next episode, hopefully, probably liberating the country. But if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Also, we'll see what we can do when we restore the French National State, or French Social Republic. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.